Research on hot side trucking and everybody had rams and people recommended how durable the engine was and how good of a truck it was for hot side trucking so um, i'm not knocking any other truck because i'm quite sure other trucks are good for hot side trucking as well but for me i chose a ram and i got very fortunate because my ram came with 18,000 miles for it to be a 2019 all right guys my bad my phone died but like i was saying i got a 2019 ram 3500 i do have a dually it's a 6.7, I think I mentioned that before my phone died. I went with the Dooley because I do have a CDL, so the setup that I am about to show y'all is a CDL setup. Um, the max weight for truck, trailer, and my load can equal up to 40,000 pounds. I'm not sure what it is with non-CDL. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about it because I, I do have a CDL, so I don't even know what I can haul. Um, but yeah, I picked up this truck, man. I got very fortunate, I had 18,000 miles on it, so it was kind of brand new. Like I said, I picked it because of the engine. A lot of people said great things about the engine, and it is an Ace and Trans. Um, I want to show you guys uh, the bed of my truck, right? So if you look at my truck bed, um, right now what I got in there is my boys. Um, I got a utility box that I kind of hold like some of my equipment in, and I'm, I'm gonna put it another screen in here showing you guys what's inside of there. Um, I'll get into this later in the video, but I am going to be adding auxiliary tank in here for like fuel. And um, I do want to put my tools and I don't know how the auxiliary tanks works. Like are they only for fuel or can you put tools in there too? I'm going to have to look into that, but if y'all know or can recommend any, please let me know in the comments. We're going to go to my trailer next. I got a 2022 Big Tex trailer. It is a uh, 35 plus five. I'm gonna let this truck pass on. It's a 35 plus five, 22 GN, 2022 Big Tex trailer. Um, this trailer, the payload is 15,000 pounds that it can haul. I technically won't ever put that much weight on my trailer because of wear and tear. Max I normally do is like 12,000. Um, it is a dual action trailer. Like I said, I do have a CDL, so um, this is the requirements for a CDL setup. Uh, it has a mega ramp, so that's what the plus five is. It's 35 feet up until this point right here. And then these mega ramps is the plus five, and these can fold down. I'll add that in the video as well, show you guys how I fold those down. I only had to use it one time and I hauled um, a pickup truck. If I still got that video, I'm gonna add it in this video too, just a little clip. Um, one, one thing I do wanna add on my trailer, I do wanna add a utility rack on my trailer. The utility rack is something that you can use to hold like chains. You can see some trailers that come along like, with the tool utility box that's down there. So I don't know how I'm gonna play it, how I'm gonna do it yet, but that's something else I'm gonna add. But for right now, that is my complete CDL setup. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. And then the second half of this video is I'm gonna show y'all uh, my equipment that I run with.
I promise, I'm going to show you guys the equipment that I run with. Um, I'm going to try to be quick, but I got this bar. I don't know the name of it, but I'm going to call it the 4-inch strap tightening bar, right? I don't even know what you can search to find this, but I got this. The grace of God, my father, it has a lot of experience with flatbed trucking, so he got a lot of this equipment laying around that he was able to loan me for to do this. Um, I got six of these chains. These are three by eight chains rated for, um, what's the RG over 70. I got six of these. I have eight binders. I'll let you zoom in on that. It's three over eight, so it matches eight binders so far six chains and eight binders has been perfect for me um, i got 50 bungees please run with more than 50 bungees i don't run through a lot of bungees since i started within the three months i think because they do fall off your tarp they pop whatever invest in a lot more than 50. can't go wrong with the four inch strap you gotta have your four inch straps i got eight of these with two left over for spare um for obvious reasons because i did have a load shift on me and i had two straps go out at once two four inch straps popped right on the side of the road luckily i was able to have two extra straps that i could replace it and i just bought two more for my replacement so four inch strap trailer lock it's a must if you drop your trailer somewhere you don't want to leave it to where somebody can hook up to it and take it so definitely invest in the trailer lock i got the, the dual package where it come with the top lock and the bottom lock and they come with a lock and a key and then i'll do these together with my uh oil pan drain and then this uh funnel oil funnel um i just recently started doing my own oil changes so this has been a great investment for me I would recommend you guys have it. It doesn't hurt to have this on the road just in case you may have to perform an oil change. And I got my four oversized load flags. I haven't had to use these. I don't think I ever will, but you never know just to have them. Then I have my active mat. Now this is my best friend because I work out on this mat. I stretch on this mat. I do everything on this mat. And if you guys know, these truck parking lots are nasty. I'm guilty of it. I pour my pee bottles on this ground so I know how I can get. So I always wear gloves and I use this mat because I don't put my clothes or my hands on this ground. So invest in a yoga mat or one of these active active mats because it's definitely going to be a nice area for you. Um, these has been like my lifesavers. These are my two inch straps. Um, I got these from USCC, I think that's US Cargo Control. And um, they are rated for 3,333 pounds. Then these are two inch straps. They are ratchet straps. Well, 10 of those. I got 10 of these two inch straps. They come in handy, trust me, grab those. The four inch straps, my bad, they are rated for uh, not mistaken they are rated for uh 5,400 pounds don't quote but it's close to that got 10 corner protectors i need more because i lost some the corner protectors keep those straps from ripping on tight i mean not tight but sharp loads so get you some of these my 12 ton jack this is for my trailer. Um, I know it's loud, but I'm at a truck stop. But uh, I use this to jack up my trailer. Uh, I think 12 tons can get up to 24,000 pounds. It can hold that. So this is more than enough. You know, you definitely want to have these because I had to switch out two of my trailer tires. And, you know, having your own equipment like this just saves you a lot of money. I got four of these four by fours. Um, for my dunnage, I only use them once, but they come in handy. I got four. For my tarps, these tarps are 20 feet long with six foot drops. I got two of them because I have a 40 foot trailer. 
Um, so two of them can cover my whole trailer. Um, I can't remember where I got this from, but I'll leave some names and places in the description. But this is 20 feet long, six foot drops, heavy duty tarps. Next, I got my triangles. You know, you gotta have uh, three safety triangles in your truck. So these are my triangles. Then I have uh, my flares. You gotta have flares with you as well. Actually, come with a safety vest. I didn't even know that. And then your safety equipment. Nine times out of ten, with this type of stuff that we haul on flatbed and hot shot, most of the time you will go into places that will require you to wear a hard hat, some steel toe boots, grab you some of those, and a safety vest with eyewear. I wear glasses sometimes so I can pass, but that is my safety like gear that they will not allow you to get loaded or be on the premises without that stuff. And I got one oversized flag that obviously you can see I haven't used. And then I have a power drill. I bought this because like I said, I had two trailer tires that went out on the same time, right? And um, I just know how vital it is with changing your own equipment, having your own equipment. It saves you money. So I went and bought one of these. It was a huge investment. It was like 300 some bucks. But yeah, uh, guys, I think that's it. Um, I th think I showed you guys everything. One thing I did leave out, I, I run with, uh, what are those things called? Um, fire hydrant. Oh yeah, the fire hydrant. I got that as well. And it's mounted in my truck on the passenger seat, up under the passenger seat, it's mounted there. Um, and then uh, my zip ties. I run with zip ties because that's how I secure the loose ends of my straps for the two ends. But guys, I just want to say thank you for rocking with me so heavy. Um, I appreciate all my new subscribers and the subscribers that already are here with me. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Again, follow me on Instagram because my Instagram followers requested this video. And this is my hot shot setup plus the equipment that I run with. Um, give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and until next time.